Hey there, it's Brittany with Brits Tips. Okay, so today I am doing this super lovely nail design. I am using a color from Dip With Jazz called Coquetta. Super cute, um, light pink color. Let's get into it. So you do have a code um, for 15% off. It's Brit, B-R-I-T-T-1-5 for 15% off. You use that at checkout. The color that I'm going to use today is Coquetta. I'm super excited about this color. So um, if you caught my earlier video, I will link it up here. I did a rose quartz with this Coquetta. I'm actually going to show you because honestly, I am super proud of it and I think it came out great. So here is my rose quartz. And I did two swatches. It is incredible. Um, when you're in person, <laughs> when you're in person with this swatch and this stone, they truly look identical. Um, the colors are com like it almost completely blends in with it. I'm seeing like on the camera how the light is reflecting off of the swatch and it's not really hitting the crystal. Trust me when I tell you. This Coquetta is the exact color that like pink jelly color for rose quartz. But that's not what we're doing today. So today we are going to be doing um, a mix between dip powder and gels. And I'm going to be using some blooming gel and some color blocking tape and uh, some foils too. So a little bit of everything today. So first I'm going to go ahead and start. So every finger is going to get color blocked in a um, different manner. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get started though first. I have a layer of peel base on my nails. You can kind of see it's still drying in the corners here. So um, I have a layer of peel base and I am going to be using my um, color blocking tape and I don't want the color blocking tape to peel off my peel base. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and cap my peel base with a layer of gel top coat. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and, and do some color blocking. So I'm just gonna take my tape and I'm just gonna kind of um, we'll start with, we'll start with the thumb, I think. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and put Coquetta here in this space. And then in this space here, we're going to do some gel paint with some blooming gel. So I'm going to go ahead in with two layers of Coquetta. All right. I'm going to go ahead and take off my tape and then we will activate. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and cap this in um, a gel top coat because I am gonna do some gel paints and I don't want the color to run over. So I kind of like wanna protect it. So I'm gonna cap it with um, gel top coat and then I'm actually gonna put uh, another sh striping tape um, back over top of it also just to protect it. Okay, so we're gonna do some blooming gel into this corner here. Um, because I did two layers of color, I actually don't wanna just go ahead in with the blooming gel. I'm gonna put down a base layer of color. So the colors that I have chosen are a navy blue and a black. So this color is so pretty. I'm gonna go ahead in with the blue. Oh, I forgot my, um, my tape. I said I was gonna put tape down, totally forgot. Whoops. I'm going to go ahead and just use a smaller brush to kind of get up in this corner here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and cure that. All right, there we go. Okay, so next we're going to go ahead and do some nail art, one of my favorite things to do. So I'm going to, I want to do a marble of this navy and black, and I'm going to overlay it over top um, here and then I'm going to take gold foils and just kind of seal this off here. So I'm just gonna lay down some of the navy and then I'm just gonna take some black and just kind of overlay it and then I'm just gonna kind of marble it on my own. Okay and then we're going to do some blooming gel. I'm going to take a stiffer brush and just kind of scoop it up and then we'll go ahead and lay it. So blooming gel, if you're not familiar with it, you apply it and then you do not cure it. 
You apply the blooming gel, you put your colored gel over top of it, you let it do its thing, and then you cure it as soon as you get it to like where you like it. And I find that it's better to apply just like a thin layer. You don't need like a whole bunch of uh, like a thick layer of this gel for it to work. Blooming gel is applied. We're going to go ahead and scoop this up. Scoop it up like that. And then... Cute. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and cure that before it keeps moving. All right, that's what we have. Okay, and now I want to take um, some of the gold foil and just kind of lay it across. So I have this little um, kit, it's cute. It comes in multiple different colors of foil. It's really nice, I got it off of Amazon and it was super cheap. Um, so I want to do just straight gold because it comes like there's like five different colors kinds of gold here So I want to do just the regular gold one and um, Just be careful when you go to open it that you don't like aggressively open it because it definitely like poofs <laughs> And you'll have the glitter everywhere and like don't breathe or laugh too hard also Because <laughs> it'll it'll fly everywhere. Okay, so I am just going to um, I'm actually going to add a layer of gel base and I'm going to cure it and I'm going to do that because it uh, gives it a little bit of a sticky layer and it gives us like some time to be able to manipulate and put the foil exactly where I want it. Alright, now I'm going to apply the foils. All right, I'm gonna go ahead in with a layer of gel top coat. All right, there we have it. Okay, so one nail is done. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other four. All right, I am all done. I'm absolutely loving it. Don't forget, I have a code BRIT15, B-R-I-T-T-1-5. It'll save you 15% at dips with jazz check her out check out her shop i absolutely love this color i only got a sample size of it and i'm definitely going to order one um a full size i'm super excited also i wanted to share with you this is my dipped with jazz collection so when i tell you i absolutely love this company i'm not lying <laughs> i really really do i have i don't even know how many colors are here <laughs> a lot a lot of her colors um Big fan of her company. I love her cuticle oils. I also have her liquids. Her liquids are, are really great. Um, here we go. Her liquids are really great. They have a little bit on the moderate to faster dry time. Um, low odor. I don't get dip flu with them. I think my dip flu has completely cleared up though. So uh, I haven't been getting dip flu from any um, any company. I thought. Check out her shop. Um, let me know what you think about this mani. I think it came out super cute. Um, this is the first time I've done the almond shape. I know I need to like figure out like a little bit more shaping. Um, it's the hardest part for me, obviously. The design is, um, the design comes easy and the pairing of the colors and all of that. I don't know if you can see too the um, marble art that um, I did. It's hard to see. So it's really, really pretty in person. The blue and the black marble together. There we go. You can see a little bit. It's really, really pretty. There we go. <clears throat> so that's the, the marble um, that I did with the blooming gel, the black and the blue. Really, really pretty. All right. For real this time, I will catch you next time. See ya.